Hello, my name is Robert Adut, and this is yaymath.org's video project, specifically Yaymath in Studio. We're talking about base E and natural logs in this case, and we're furthering our discussion about logarithmic functions and equations. So let's first introduce what Let's first introduce what E is, the exponential functions. Let's do it. Yay math. So what E is, is kind of, it's pretty fascinating. It's like 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. And you just go on for infinity, and this fraction will eventually start to peter out and become very close to zero. It becomes a super small fraction. And this sum, over time, results in approximately 2.718 dot 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 dot. It's kind of amazing. And it's a number that occurs in nature. It occurs with uh, cell decomposition, with um, half-life of fossils, with population growth or population decay. It's a really fascinating, naturally occurring number, um, and it's called e, the exponential function, e to the 1, you could say, because it's a type of exponent. And we could actually use it to solve very high-level problems um, that, in, that occur in nature with the growth and decay of populations or, or like a backdating a fossil that we discover. It's really cool. So if you have a base of e in your log, log base e is called a natural log. I like to think it natural because this is a number that occurs in nature. And natural log goes like this. I always thought it should be called nl for natural log. It's like log natural. But I guess they insisted on having the l first for some reason, like it's a log. But ln basically is a log of base e. That's all that is, okay? So what's interesting about these is that natural logs and e are opposite functions. They essentially cancel each other out. Meaning, like if you were to do e to the fourth equals, I don't know, like um, x, that would be equivalent to, if I took ln of both sides, ln here and ln here, ln of e actually cancels and becomes one. They're opposite functions because you can think of it like log base e of e, right? Natural log is log base e. So let's rewrite this as log base e of e to the fourth, right? That's what ln means. Let's write it above so you could see it all in one shot. Okay. So anytime the base and the number are the same, it becomes the number one. This is the number one. Four moves to the front. That's the number four. Basically, they cancel each other, right? So it becomes four equals ln x. This wouldn't be helpful. Oops, four equals ln x. This wouldn't be helpful to solve. All right, we're going to show you some things to solve. This is just rewriting as a log equation. So it was given as an exponential. Rewrite as log. Okay. Let's actually use exponents and logs to help us solve now. Let's say you had something like ln of 2x plus 1 minus 2 equals 6, okay? So we want to isolate this ln as much as possible. Let's throw in a 3 here. Why not? Or let's throw in a 4. 4. So we add 2 to both sides, and we get 4 ln of 2x plus 1 equals plus 2 is 8. Divide both sides by 4 ln. 2x plus 1 equals 2. Then we take e of both sides because e and ln are opposite functions. e. So it's e to the this thing equals e squared. And e and ln, as we discussed, they cancel each other out. And you're left with 2x plus 1 equals e squared. And then you solve this guy. That's uh, 2x plus 1 equals e squared. 2x equals, subtract 1 on both sides, you get e squared minus 1. Divide both sides by 2. x equals e squared minus 1 all over 2. You put that in the calculator. 
okay? So you use E and ln, natural logs and E, to cancel each other out whenever, whenever you're solving an equation. So that was one that was given as E, excuse me, is given as ln, was given as ln. Now I'm gonna give you one starting as E, let's say you had like E to the five X plus one equals six, something like that. So you do ln of both sides, you need to go, as previously said, you get 5x plus 1 equals ln x in the zone now, baby. Minus 1 minus 1, 5x equals ln 6 minus 1, divided by 5, x equals ln 6 minus 1, all over 5. Pause lets you catch up to that if, in case you're writing it down. In short, anytime you have an equation involving e with x, be prepared to do ln both sides to cancel the e. Anytime you have an equation with ln involving x, be prepared to do e to cancel the ln. All right? That's all that is. Once you get the hang of it, it's going to make sense. All right? Thank you for watching. That was awesome. And we'll see you on the next episode.